let's get right to it. Today I want to talk about hobbies that are scientifically proven to enhance your cognitive ability. The first one I have for you is learning a new language. Yes, I know this sounds a little bit overwhelming for a hobby, but there are many ways to make learning languages fun, so hear me out. According to the ACTFL, learning a second language is associated with greater academic success and enhanced cognitive function. What do they mean by enhanced cognitive function? For example, foreign language acquisition has been shown to improve memory, problem solving skills, and creative thinking. This translates into better reading skills, higher standardized test scores, improved vocabulary in your native language, and higher academic performance overall. In addition to this, learning a second language reduces personal bias and fosters open-mindedness towards other cultures. It also makes you a highly desired job applicant in an increasingly interconnected global economy. Here are some fun ways of learning a new language. You might recognize this logo. Duolingo can help you get a feel for the basics of a language if you're just starting out. It's more of a game than studying, as it includes gems for rewards, streaks, and leaderboards. Some of my other favorite ways to practice new languages are watching Netflix shows in that target language, or listening to music and translating the lyrics. For brushing up on your Spanish skills, personally I recommend either Casa de Papel or Mariposa de Barrio. The next hobby on my list is exercising regularly. According to a study from the University of British Columbia, regular aerobic exercise, in other words, cardio, increases the size of the hippocampus, which functions in learning and verbal memory. Exercise also increases neuroplasticity, which is the ability of cells in your brain to grow and reorganize themselves. A UCLA study showed that exercise stimulates the activity of growth factors called neurotrophins in the brain, which can lead to the formation of new synaptic connections. The next hobby on my list is learning to play an instrument. A study published in Neuroscience actually explored the potential of using music making to treat neurological and developmental disorders. Why? Because musical training has been shown to increase neuroplasticity, which we just learned about. It is also associated with sensory motor and cognitive enhancements. So, pick up your guitar, your triangle, your kazoo, your mayonnaise, whatever instrument piques your interest, and start practicing. The last hobby I have for you is puzzles. Regularly engaging in puzzles such as Sudoku and crosswords leads to enhanced brain function, according to a study done by the University of Exeter and King's College London. This included skills like memory, attention, and reasoning. The study found that older participants who regularly did puzzles displayed problem-solving skills equivalent to an average of eight years younger compared to those who did not. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to like and subscribe.